have many influences in, in my musical life and in my musical career. And hip hop played an important part of my growing up. Um, one of the first kids on my block to actually hear, you know, uh, you know Curtis Blow and all those guys and Run DMC and, and really embrace hip hop. Even though I was in school in the jazz band and you know learning how to play Count Basie and, and you know Duke Ellington, I still have my ear to the to the to the streets and I was out break dancing and pop locking and roboting and moonwalking. Even you know the the, the summer before the Motown 25, you know um, dance group that I was working with or you know hanging out with, we were experiment with this thing called the slide. And that ended up being the moonwalk. So, you know, under the influence, it's taking me back to those roots. And that's, you know, hip hop music, dance music, and, you know, all the things that have a beat. Because as soon as I get a beat going, as soon as I feel it, I can't stop. I don't know about you. But as soon as I hear a good beat, it's, it's something inside of me that just wants to dance. So that's what this whole thing is about for me. It's creating an atmosphere for people to dance and also showing that, you know, um, that other side of me. I won't let it. Can you reach me? Can you reach me? There's a lot of people that influence me today. I mean, you know, you can't not turn on the radio without hearing the top 10 hits every hour. So, you know, it's, it's very easy uh, to be you know, influenced by the Black Eyed Peas and Katy Perry and Kanye West and Taylor Swift and even Justin Bieber and all the you know, people out Usher. Um, it's very easy to be influenced by them. And, but for me, it is it's the anatomy of a hit song that impresses me the most. And as a songwriter, and you know, a producer, a budding producer, those are the things that I'm really, you know, interested in and studying. It's, the bottom line for me is, if it makes me want to dance, pure and simple. You don't have to be a fan. If it makes you want to dance, and that, it rings true to your spirit. So that's what really influences me out of the music today. And as far as artists are concerned, that I really vibe with. Of course, you get your kids from Detroit, like Eminem, Kid Rock, and, and those people like that. And I'm really, really impressed with Jay-Z and Kanye West. And Lil Wayne even inspired me a little bit. Even though I'm not into the cussing and all that kind of stuff, that's to each his own. Uh, I try to make my music for everybody, so I'm influenced by a lot of different types of music and a lot of different artists. I'm never letting it go. 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 That band is so versatile. We're, we're able to do a lot of different types of stuff. One of the things that's a hang-up for a lot of live bands today is the. Uh, a lot of records are produced and the technology that they use in the studio doesn't translate well to um, a live environment. Well, what this project allows me to do is kind of work in a reverse because I was a live musician before I was a studio musician. So the technology that I use at the live show, I use in my recording process. So it allows me to be able to you know, reproduce what I've done in the studio and to do it proficiently. And I got the most incredible group of musicians that anybody could ever want to work with. So it allows me, uh, it affords me to be able to do and to weave and bob and to really make a, a statement because I can do it. This has been Big Will under the influence, the interview. Peace.